Hey, welcome back everybody, Sign here again, and just got back from doing some hunting throughout the night, and unfortunately I died. So, I did find a, uh, a thing underground, a, I guess a shrine or something you could call it, but it actually had a lava bucket, and well, some gold and iron in it, got some diamonds now, a bunch of redstone, I got an infernium chest plate off of a zombie, it's actually pretty an armor that's well not as good so let's hold on to like a check this guy though i am gonna keep hold of the uh, elementium chest plate but i'm up to osmium now which silver or lead works for this tier but yeah osmium that was pretty easy to get it adds in dense and well established so kind of cool there actually got myself some white mystical flowers which is in Petal Apothecary, but the Apothecary requires a luminous crafting table, I found out. So, Batania's gonna have to wait. Uh, let's see, I got... Well, I can make 21 bone meal now, that's not terrible. Put the arrows away. Put that stuff away. Those. Uh, let's go ahead and I guess, grab some mustard seeds to munch on here. We go. Got some gardens. Uh, one thing I do want to do though is put at least fortune one on, say, my pick, and probably the sword, right? Yeah, luck one. So this has a four modifiers left now. How do I make this an unbreaking? I was like, what? Reinforced. Uh, modifiers, what's called? Uh, yeah, this guy right here. Gold sheet metal, dense obsidian, gold item casing, which you need a forge hammer for, which I could probably make. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's look at the quest book, though. I was looking at the gate for. Immersive engineering is make cook brick. Uh, let's see. Uh, still going to skip that for now. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and... What? Try again. Oh, I have to click the actual icon? Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Harvest level 1. Let's just go ahead and get the glass, because I don't want to deal with it right now. Our level 2 was for Surtis Quartz. Um, hmm. Opera Hammer's not bad. I'm breaking one. I mean, I'll just get the torches. Something I know I'll use. Harvest level 3, Iron Ore. Gives me a Lava Clay Bucket. Alright. Another one. Level 4 is Lead Ore, or Silver. Turns out, because I got Silver first, and... Yeah, finding silver will also complete this quest. Okay. Um, we can get the bronze. And then five is osmium. Uh, I guess, I guess alamite. You plus that quintuples the durability and gives us global travelers. Shift right click a block in order for items from broken blocks and killed entities to get transported there. If it is an inventory. And now this guy. Uh, let's see. Smelting. Yep. One ingot of steel. Drink. If this gets hot enough. It may not. You never know. Uh, next is actually obsidian. Pools of lava and flowing water meets typically deep underground. Or uh, grab our empty clay bucket here. Also, um, put the glass away, I guess. You don't even have enough room for that, so you're gonna, you're gonna go in here. So we're gonna grab ourselves a bucket of water, and we're gonna get head up to the north here, not to the pool that I already uh, got water out of, or uh, lava out of, though. I'm gonna keep that one just in case I need more. Which for as little I've actually used the smeltery. Probably not going to need a whole lot out of it. And... 
Oh, skeleton. Yes, you're gonna die. Oop. Thank you. I uh, went ahead and made a silver sword blade and... Oh, what is that? There we go. Copper wide guard. Silver sword blade basically adds... I think it's equipped to like smite two or three to my sword. So... Alright, not a problem. I'll do with that. Hey. And its base damage is like seven anyway, so... Helps. Alright. So, here, let's go and eat these. Jesus! Nope. I'm gonna die. I died. <sighs> Second death. First one happened off camera. I, uh... That one actually was a bit of a lag death. The first one. That one was, I just... Did not see that guy coming. So, that one was a pair of death. First one, I was fighting a, uh, oh, I don't have to eat right now. Uh, was it a skeleton, a zombie, and a creeper? And lagged just a little bit, and all of a sudden, I got punched twice by the zombie and then blown up by the creeper. And dropped to a heart. Which... You know, then I got sniped by a skeleton. So, yeah, that was that was wonderful. And actually, I have another island that's just right there at the edge of render right now. Uh, let's see. Got a lot of rose bushes around here. Oh my God, it's a hamster! Look at that thing. All right, and they even chirp at you. So, ow! Really, dude? No. I don't want to deal with you right now, so we're not going to. I hope I can get over here and get my stuff back before I get uh, squished by the baby zombie with the fiery weapon. If he didn't despawn. He might have, actually. Because uh, I don't see him around here anywhere. Also, let's... Uh, Oh, well, I'll take the hemp seeds. I'm trying to vein mine grass, actually. Uh, yeah, that's... That should cover most of it. Okay. How about I stand right here? Uh, let's find something here I don't need. Immediate crafting use for this. Uh, I can make different heads from computer craft. Valentine's blocks. Regular head from Cyclic. Okay. Howard Spawner. License bias and stuff. And player trap, huh? Press compressed diamond. I think this one counts as player kills. I'll do player damage to my step on it. Yep. So that one kind of makes sense why it's expensive. Uh, let's put that away for now. This is going to take a while, but at this point, I'm like, thank God for Vein Miner. And... There we go. Uh, 41. I don't want to bother with the rest of these, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not going to bother. This is kind of a cool little cave right there. <laughs> Alright, so let's head back to base. Eh, it's going to take a little bit. So over the, that, the cave I've been going down for mining is right there. And I found towards the bottom of it. Oh god, there's so many resources. And what are you? New Zealand Doe? Yeah. Last time I saw you, you were sleeping. Uh, let's go ahead and... Do that so I can do that. And cucumber. Then below 10 varieties of food to gain another heart. Okay. Uh, no, I want to keep that. I do want to keep that. I don't have uh, potatoes yet, and they are very handy for making foods. Okay, I don't think that counted twice. Had to be a glitch. So 
so sharpening kit should be the thing I make next, right? Um, don't really have any planks on me. Uh, change that up. I did find dark planks, so I need to make actually more patterns. Yeah, there's a dark oak forest up by where I died. Put you into there. Make that. You across you. Add a wood. Go here, I guess. Well, obsidian. The obsidian has really like horrible durability. Got some molten clay left. And I'll actually just keep that on me for now. Uh, let's get some of this put away. I like to go there. I'll put obsidian up here too now, I guess. Or at least four now. Let's put that. Let's raise it that way. That is 24 bone meal. I need, I think it was 36. I calculated out for the, uh, uh, who's the watch it? Coke oven. And grab some snowballs. I can make smoothies out of those, so that's the reason for that. Speaking of which, let's uh, make some strawberry smoothies. You and then those, done. I think it's glitched. Every time I eat a new food now, it's like, oh, oh, you're good. Oh, you're good. Uh, let's see. Obsidian. Now, what's alamite again? Alamite. And plus TIC is... Uh, alloying. Aluminum, iron, and obsidian. Okay. Cast it into, say, what will tell me here? A mining level obsidian. Okay, so let's have Global Traveler. That's actually kind of handy, though. Or would be if I had better freaking... It needs, like, a flint, doesn't it? There we go. So, yeah. Fortified to obsidian. That's all it does. And well, how many modifiers you got? You got four, right? It's gonna be a little bit, so I can, or so I can make the uh, reinforcements. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna level it up again, but nothing else. Please be faster. Uh, that doubles the mining speed. I can live with that. So what's next after this one? Uh, item reward. Okay. Is going to be cobalt. So I have to go to the nether for the next one. Uh, let's see. Gates for industrial craft is a machine casing. A sturdy casing. And coke brick. Get casings, right? Sturdy casing. Copper gears. Bronze gears. Bronze ingots. Okay. Uh, let's see. Basic machine casing. Iron large plates. And four aluminum plates. What machine casing? Dense iron, dense tin. Hmm. Yeah, so, hammer, right? Engineer's hammer. Oh, geez. Yeah, I forgot about that. There it is, though. Okay. Uh, stand recipe. All right. So, we're going to grab two of you. Make a bunch of sticks up. Can engineer's hammer out and so if I do is it two plus one? Yes. Okay. Uh, I should probably actually get that planted. Nothing else does get it out of the inventory. I'm gonna plant it over here. And I'm not gonna bother harvesting anything out of there quite yet. And floating on top is my single ingot of steel. So, you plus aluminum brass I still have in there will make a plate cast at least. And thinking about this, I should go ahead and one, two, three, aluminum. 
Make up some more aluminum brass. Now, aluminum melts stupidly quick in here. Copper, not as much. But I can make plates now. Uh, let's see. Cow is sleeping on the tree. All right. Hmm. So to make peanut butter, it requires mortar and pestle, peanuts, and cooking oil. Wasn't there like a quest just back here and getting started? Yeah, okay. Cooking for blockheads. Um... So we got table, oven, two fridges, counter, and a tool rack. This guy, yeah, I'm not going to bother claiming him yet. Yeah, let's work on some gates. Um, I just need a coke brick for this, huh? Good there. Got my plate cast. Uh, can I make a stone gear? And then use that to cast with. A wooden gear and stone. I would like to have a cast of this if I could. Yeah, hey, look at that. Cool. So that will help me get to work on. Let's make some copper gears. Uh, forestry, anyway. And thermal machines when I finally get to that point, because I think they... I want to remember they pretty much all the powered ones require uh, copper gears. So I'm going to need so much copper. Uh, for now, though, I just need like four more bones. And, yeah, got a bunch, uh, bunch of sleeping animals. Skeleton. Oh, well, there's two bones anyway, so I just need two more. And this is a tundra biome. Hi. Bit of a. Eh, it's a little bit of stutter. Oh, it's, yeah, new chunks. Bunch of flowers. Little shrubby things everywhere. And my pants broke in the past here, too, so I need to. Hopefully find some new pants. What is this? Faint amaranth, huh? From Astral? Oh yeah, we're lagged. Okay. There we go. Yeah, just rubber banded the sun back in the time there. I think the Enderman I just saw over here kind of despawned, didn't he? Uh, managed to kill two, no Enderpearls yet. Hey, that hit. Did that hit land? Nope. Hi. Thanks. Okay, so a couple more skeletons here. There's the bones I need. There's some more. I love how they pay attention to exactly how far away you actually are. It's so wonderful. Alright, so... Oh, look, glowstone. Uh, I don't need those. Alright, I guess head back to base now. I got the bones I need to be able to make a, a full-scale coke oven. Hey. Okay. Do I want spider eyes for anything? Uh, I don't need it right now. Not really a whole lot of mobs at night around here, I've noticed. 
That's Bruce Tree. You know, it looks like a giant, like, brown and green mushroom. Looks like something else, but I'm going with brown and green mushroom. Uh, actually, a pretty good, like, waypoint to get back to base. Which I still haven't even built a house yet, which I really should probably work on. Alright, so... Copper into the... Oh, that's annoying. That is so damn annoying. Can I, uh... I'm gonna get uses for you. Mana infuse. It says copper should work. Oh, wait a second. I better know what it is. Now it works. You have to, sometimes you have to pick the cast up and put it back down before it registers it. Oh, yeah, that's valid. One of those annoying little, like, idiosyncrasy things. So. 36. U plus U equals the porcelain clay. Uh, just kind of you sit there for now. I do have to kind of empty my inventory out a bit. Uh, let's see. And actually, a little low on cherries. And I think I've got a pattern there already. Chests are a pain to make in this pack as well, so I just haven't. Let's put you and like you away, right? So that can go into there with those. We'll sort this stuff out. Um. Eh. I'll leave that there too for now. Uh, let's see what was I working on. I need thirty-six more clay now. Because these need to actually be melted up here. Also, grab some more coal into there. Now, how much sand do I have? I have 10. I need 36 total as well of that. Oh, I am, like, super hungry, huh? I might have to relog so I quit saying that too. But I got sand. Um, eight, nine. Let's see. You plus you. Make some cherry smoothies. Yeah, it's registered. Every time I eat something different, it like registers. And let's just eat the last cherry here. Yep. So, it's corners for these. Put those into the middle. Got that out. I'm going to need eight bronze. I need to make two more bronze gears as well. Not two more, but two more gears, but out of bronze this time. There we go. That sentence might make a little more sense. And hey, got some bricks already. Bronze melts pretty quick. I know tin melts pretty quick, actually, on its own. Copper is a little on the sore side. And bingo. So then four more four bronze. We should be done there, right? Bronze gears go into actually a, a few things. Oh yeah, gin industry's in here. Cool. Um last page. Oh, second to last. Yep, that makes two of them. Oh, that's not bad then. Ah, uh, we're waiting on that to finish now. Are you ready to accept a bucket? You are. 
So, in order to clear out inventory, I'm going to throw stuff on the ground. There we go. I guess I need to go find something to eat here. Oh, a couple mushrooms. What are these cannons? Eat? Veg? Okay. Leeks. Barley. Can I turn, like, barley into flour? Um. Yes. I can actually use that to make bread with, as well as wheat. My wheat's not exactly growing as fast as I would like it to. And I guess onion. Mmm. Eating an onion like an apple, huh? There we go. So right now my bonus hearts are actually coming from the nutrition mod, not from Spice of Life Carrot Edition. Because I got my fruit up so high. I'll put those there. Can't. There and there. So I'm just waiting on 12 more bricks to cook up, huh? Oh, yeah, it's going to take a while, isn't it? But hey, mineral tree grew up. Still have a flint hatchet, so I'm not going to bother using the actual hatchet for that. Hey, four saplings, though. One thing that always bugged me about it, freaking integrated dynamics, is the sapling noise when you plant the sapling. It's like, no, 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 that's not the sound they make. That's the, like, break dirt sound. All right, and I still have my engineer's hammer on me. I guess I can put mineral wood away for now. I guess grab that. Um, grab 16 clay and toss into here as well. That way I can start making some uh, like Pam's Harvest Craft tools. Start making better foods. That was weird from you. All right, we got one more finally. Stupid cow, get out of here. All right. There we go. And yeah, we'll just pick up some more bricks just because. Quest complete. Gate, immersive engineering. Hammer. And I'm just going to grab like half stack of coal for now. I'll send it there. So that gives me a portable tank, a fluid pump, and 32 iron plates. Not too shabby, actually. Hey, while we're here, let's, uh, it was copper at top, bronze on the bottom, I think. 30 casings from forestry. That should unlock this gate. There it goes. Gives me a choice of either bronze, aqueous accumulator, sturdy casing. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's look up like fused quartz, right? Can I have like the unpainted? I 
All right, how about we just look up quartz then? Because, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go. Oh, alloy smelter, here we go. There, oh, it says painted with white. Hmm. All right then. If I want to enlighten it, then energize glowstone and diffused quartz. That is alloy furnace, alloy smelter, or yeah. Okay, so damn. Bones away because I don't really need them right now, but I do need chests. Which let's look at that recipe real quick. There's uh, four recipes for chests, many chests which only come from regular. Okay. Two of any chest equals two regular vanilla chests. And let's see, the one I can do right now is this one, which requires three wooden tough tool rods and a stone button. Or, and that can make you one. For two, if I use four treated planks, four logs, and a button, then we're good. And I'm actually making creosote oil now to make treated planks with. So now I can start actually working on a little bit of storage stuff too. Doesn't seem like a horrible idea, really. I'll put those away. And... Need, like, a large plate cast. So, I'm going to need one of you. And put you away into here. So you, I want one of those. No, not smooth stone. Regular cobble. Aluminum brass still? Yep. That way. Because basic machine casing. Basic casing. Four iron large plates. Dense plates. Or dense tin plates. So I need 36 iron in here. Which I should have... Uh, I've got almost two stacks of iron. Let's just grab 36. I'm not going to be able to get this done this episode. Drink. And let's see. Oh, no. Still. I clicked on like on. Oh, that should show me the recipe, right? Yeah, no. Actually, well, I'm going to have to melt it down anyway, but... It will be faster, I think, if I just throw all these into a furnace, melt them to ingot form, and then compress them into blocks. And then I only have to melt four items in the smeltery instead of 36. And while we're here waiting, uh, aluminum. Let's get our plate cast back out. Aluminum's nice and quick. Three and four, right? Yeah, well, that worked. Pretty much done with the plate cast anyway, so didn't really need that one. Uh, give that a good sort. This will repair itself with mana. This is whoops for pixies to apply potion effects. Ah, kind of cool. Not shabby. I like it. So let's see if I go brick like so, and then we'll do you mortar and pestle. Make a pot. Skillet. Lost pan. And I think it was like this and then a plank. Cutting board. And maybe one more. So, mixing bowl. And my inventory is now totally screwed up.
And let's go put water down somewhere. It's not going to screw something up. Oh, look, clay buckets to do that. All right. Um, there. Better. There's that. Six planks. Eight. And then there's those. The chest. I'm going to need probably two of you. I should be able to just do th that. One. I thought I just made, like, an, I made two buttons there. I only made one. That's brush plate. Didn't need that. Toss you in there. And hey, look. Chests. Oops, no, not those. But now I can put, like, my Pam stuff that I want to make foods and whatnot of out of here. And if I go put this guy here. All right, so if I look into here, hey look. Uh, let's just put food into here for now, I guess. Awesome. So now I can move like food products and stuff out of here into the other one. I'm pretty put a little bit of extra space. And it looks like I dropped the button in that chest, so. I guess I can live with that. You're 26. So yeah, give me one more, because I think I have nine iron here. Actually, I might be able to do this this episode. It's taking as long as I thought. And I'm not just standing around waiting on things. So iron block, thank God it works. I am so used to having a controller in the middle. But if I break the controller, I lose everything in there. Not wanting to do that quite yet. Uh, you can just live in there for now. Oh, this might take a little while to, to melt out, huh? So what does wyvern chest plates take? Uh, combination crafter. Kind of like runic altar using power instead. All right. Oops. Or Arctic jacket, yeti jacket, nightly plate, steel leaf, fiery ironwood chain, boron nitride, terra steel, supremium, manulin, a wyvern core, and a quantum suit body armor. Plus four blocks of charged draconium. Which is in combination crafting. One block of draconium. One block here. Power. To the tune of... At really 2 billion. No, it's probably 10,000. Probably holds 2 billion, right? Mm, maybe. A lot of these pedestals too. That's all dark iron and a carpenter with liquefactor coal. And I just realized I made too much iron in here. I only need 32. And um, yeah. Put 36 in. Now these do take a little bit to cool off, don't they? Alright, let's sort stuff away, I guess. Do I have, like. Yeah, I do. Make up a bunch more of that. Put those in there. There's one. Um, that is going to be, what, four gears, eight ingots of bronze, right? That's 24, and plus eight copper. 
So for a little bit of work, actually, this might be a little more efficient. I think the aqueous accumulator, though, I may not be able to make yet. Okay, carpent or uh, crafting, iron gears, redstone servo, bucket, glass, device frame is copper gear. All right, I can actually make that right now if I wanted to. Uh, let's go. Let's go bronze for now. They can use it for other things as well. Here, uh, I guess I'm gonna get all the things. Advancement made under pressure. Which is a good song, by the way. Done. One more. Yeah, I probably should not have done that. Iron plates. Definitely good for IC2 stuff. I think I might get into, like, IC2 next or something. It's going to be a little easier to, to get like ore doubling set up with IC2 than with mech or the engineering. Definitely a mechanism because uh, I don't have access to that yet. Basic machine casing. Quest complete. And I get a choice. Let's go with the overclockers. They're not cheap to make. They never are. Put it that way. Uh, let's see. Oh, good lord. Yeah. Um, I see two coolant. Three buckets of it. Six tin plates, circuit, and copper cable. Or you can do the advanced copper carpenter from modular machinery and like just apparently blaze it out pretty quick. Per tick, five thousand energy. Total fifty thousand. So ten ticks. Half a second. That would be nice, actually. And this thing's full again. Eh, relatively. Put that in there, I guess. And hey, I still have more ingots of iron left in here. Which, hey. Pour it out into a gear. So, this pump here, I could put down. But. I do believe it's going to require power. So I, don't, I can't use it. I don't have any power. What do I got access to for solar panels? Uh, basics. Wait, a pressure plate. Whoops. Graphite dust, which requires many factory to make. Copper solenoids, which are not cheap either. So, first things first, though, I'm probably going to work towards a metal former. Coils, basic machine casing, circuit. Okay, metallurgy confuser requires basically steel, uh, steel, steel, osmium. I can go with another, get that going. All right, let's see, the IC2 quest chain oh check mark cool and get a loot chest let's go to the second one here hey right. now oh and command reward okay hey has begun ic2 quest line all right and enderium turbine cool I not something I can use right at eight of them. Oh, that's awesome. That is so cool. I like that. That's a good reward. And then we can go bat box. We need some rubber, rubber tree taps to keep resin. All right, forestry. And say. Are you gonna like be really weird about this now? Uh, let's go to the second one again. That treated me good last time. Uh, framed block, sixty-four. Wow. Block craft rate. And let's see. 
Then there was going to be immersive engineering. And it gets me a manual and a hammer. And it just said in there, this chapter leads to mechanism. Oh, hey, Coke oven. And treated wood. All right, so. Shard of Laputa, shard power 10. Factory blocks, cables, time 64. Hmm. Factory blocks, not bad. Shard of Laputa, a little worried to use that one. Uh, is there anything else I could pop out real quick? Blast furnace, alloy kiln. That's probably not a bad idea, though. That's a good way of making alloys. That is just bricks and sandstone. I need like eight of each. So I need a half a stack of you. I need to cook up like eight of you. So I'm going to make that off camera. I don't want to sit here and wait for the coal. We're just going to do like that now. Put that all out. Put that sand away. Same with that dirt. And like that stone way. But I definitely need to work on a house between episodes. Um, not sure what I'm going to make it out of yet. But I'm going to make probably a decent sized one too. I'm not just going to make a little hut. I've done that before. Never really. I always end up like getting tired of the area I'm in and moving and then yeah it just never works out quite right and I don't know why I'm growing so much mineral trees right now but I I be doing that but thank you for coming out I hope you're enjoying the series and until next time sign signing out have fun